Hi everyone. In this uh, short video, we will take a look how we have accomplished cloud formation stack deployment on AWS using GitLab CI CD. So we'll first have uh, a very basic cloud formation template, which is nothing but a S3 bucket. Something special about this is that it's accepting parameters and the bucket name we provide from outside uh, external parameters.json file. So for example, here we have specified that the dev bucket name should be this value. Whereas in the template, we specify that read the parameter from some external reference. That's a very basic uh, template and the files coming from parameters. Uh, now, if we take a look at the GitLab CI file, we are using one of the AWS provided uh, uh, Docker image that uh, that will be used to build this. This will have AWS CLI all pre-configured. These are the stages within the cloud formation CI CD pipeline. We have a validate step and a deploy step. So validate will uh, use AWS CLI to validate the template, main dot template file that we have. And then the deploy step will basically deploy the stack name called demo stack and uh, AWS cloud formation deploy using this file. And we will also specify that which is the file that should be used for having the parameters. So then it, what it becomes is a template driven by parameter files managed by CI CD managed by the GitLab CI. So we'll quickly trigger this pipeline once so we know that uh, so I just trigger this pipeline so once the video is over we can come and visit this again uh, let's take a look at the uh, the file so these are the uh, same same setup the main template parameters and gitlab ci file that i have configured what additional i have done is uh, uh, in the settings of this project and in the ci cd section of the settings i have uh, set up these three variables which provides aws uh, access to my account and the secret uh, key so this is very standard in any gitlab ci cd project uh, deploying to aws this is what we would use and uh, then rest of the rest of the magic or you can say is uh, done by this GitLab CI YAML file, which uses an AWS image, has these two steps, which is AWS CLI to validate and uh, deploy step. So now if we go and take a look at the pipeline execution, we will see that the validation was successful. Uh, it knows where to get the values and all that it's able to validate this and this is successful validate step is uh, success then we have the deploy step which is in progress right now and it's it's waiting for the stack to be created and it has successfully created the uh, demo stack which means the deploy stage is uh, successful executed and if we come to uh, cloud formation uh, area we'll see that the demo stack has now been deployed and if we go to go and take a look at the demo stack then we will see that uh, the resources it has created is basically a same bucket name that we had specified and we see this is the output that we had specified in our cloud formation template so what we did was we had an output uh, section to uh, output the name of the bucket that was created. So that's that's pretty much it is.
And if we go back to test 22 buckets right now, but if I refresh it, it, it would have the one additional bucket created uh, during this process, which I'm not able to find right now, which is this bucket. So we created this bucket. That's pretty much I wanted to demonstrate this uh, uh, short video. The objective uh, was to deploy a cloud formation template using an external parameter files on GitLab uh, CICD. Thank you so much.